Broken links are annoying. There are a few things worse than when you're browsing the internet or you're shopping for a particular product and you click a link only to be greeted with a 404 page not found. If you own or operate a website, it's not just annoying to you, it's frustrating for the audience that's visiting your website. In this video, I'm gonna give you three simple ways that you can identify broken links so that you can correct them and improve your website's experience. Hey, if we haven't met yet, my name's Scott Redgate. I'm an online marketing coach. And before we dive into today's content, I have a free gift for you. It's my seven day online marketing jumpstart PDF. You can get it at scottredgate.com slash jumpstart, or I'll leave a link in the description below. So about a decade ago, I was working for one of the top internet marketing agencies in the country. And I had a lot of clients, but I'll never forget a meeting that I had with one of my clients where I drove down to her office and I was asking her about some of the tasks that she was doing on her website that particular week. And she had mentioned that she had spent the whole week searching her website for broken links. She was literally going page by page and clicking every link that she found and trying to find any broken links that she could correct. Now, when I heard this, it pained me because there is a better way to do it. And that's what I'm gonna share with you today. I'm gonna go over three ways that you can find broken links throughout your website so you don't have to spend your entire week manually clicking on each and every link. There are tools out there that will give you this information in a matter of minutes. And that's what we're gonna to discuss today. All right, so we're gonna go through three easy ways that you can find and discover broken links throughout your website. So you don't have to end up like that former client of mine that was spending her entire week manually clicking links. It's super simple to do. The first tool that we're gonna use is this one here called Check My Links. Now there's a bunch of them in the Chrome Web Store or if you're using Firefox or whatever browser you're using, you can look for different extensions that you can download. So I would search for something like Broken Link Checker or check my links or 404 not found or something along those lines to be able to spot plugins that you can install directly into your browser. So I went in, I found this one, check my links, and I went in and installed it into my Chrome browser and you can see it up here on the top right section. And then once you have that installed, all you have to do is go to any web page and then once you're on that page, you click the extension. And so once you do that, it literally starts to go through the entire page and start clicking and scanning the links to see if they are able to be found or if they are broken. And so as it goes down, you'll see each of the links is highlighted in green. And so it doesn't look like my home page has any broken links on it. It says valid links 19, and then there's redirected links. And that could be something like a link to your social media profile or something like that, where it redirects, but it's not broken. So you don't really need to worry about that. It's not top priority. but. If you have any broken links, they would appear in red. And so once you discover that, you can simply go in and you can correct them and move them to the accurate page on your website. So that's the first way that you can spot broken links and that's quick and if you're just looking for a quick way to check broken links for a particular page, that is a great option to use a browser extension. Now, if you want to crawl multiple pages to try to find broken links, I'd recommend using this tool here. It's called Screaming Frog. It's one of my favorite SEO tools and this is the free version. There's a paid version that I think is like 130 or $150 per year, but this free version gives you access to crawl up to 500 URLs. And so if you have a small to medium sized website, you might be able to crawl your entire website on the free version of Screaming Frog. And so what I did here was, I'm not familiar with this website, but I was doing some Google searches and I discovered it. So I pasted in their blog folder here. And so now what we're about to do is initiate a crawl of this section of their website. And so I click crawl and that's running and what I want you to focus on here is this column right here that says status code, all right? So if you see a status code of 200 and then in the next column it says okay, that means that that link is clickable and if someone clicks it, they will land on a page that is functioning properly. Now, if you see a status code like 404 or 410, that means that they are landing on a page that is not found. So that is essentially a broken link that you will want to go in and correct. And you'll see here, I just reached my crawl limit with Screaming Frog, that's okay. So let's 
click this column right here, status code, and see if we can identify any broken links. Awesome, and we did. So there are, on this crawl of this website, two broken links found. One for this URL right here, and one for this URL right here. So now that we've identified that this website has two broken links found in this crawl, you'll probably wanna go in and fix these links so they're not an issue for you or your audience as they're browsing the website. So there's just one more step that we have to take. So on the bottom of the screen with Screaming Frog, you'll see this button right here that says In Links. All you have to do is select In Links and then click the link that's broken and it's going to give you in this from column right here the URL that this link is found on. So all you would need to do is go on this page and correct the link and if you're having trouble finding what that link is or where it is, they actually tell you what the anchor text is on it. So this one, it's learn more. So what you would do is you would go into this page, you would search for the anchor text learn more and you'd make sure it's, it's the one that's going to this particular page right here and then you would just correct it that's as simple as it is so with the check my links extension in Google Chrome we were able to crawl all of the links on a particular page now with screaming frog we were able to do a crawl of an entire website to be able to find broken links all right, so there's one more thing that I wanna share with you and that's to help you identify whether the broken links that are on your website are an actual problem. Because there could be some links that are on some old blog posts or on some pages that you haven't updated in a while that no one ever visits that page. So even if you have a broken link on that page, it's not a true problem for you from a website usability perspective because no one's ever able to find it. Now I'd still recommend going in and, and correcting those using either Screaming Frog or the Chrome extension that we use, Check My Links. But to find out if broken links are a true problem on your website, you can use Google Analytics 4, and it's very easy to do. In Google Analytics 4, underneath this engagement section right here on this left-hand side, you'll see this option here that says Pages and Screens. So click that and then scroll down a little bit to get to this page path and screen class column. Okay, all right, so what we're gonna do is select page path and screen class, and we're gonna change that to page title and screen class, all right? And now we're gonna add another column in, which is the same column that we just had before we changed it, and that's gonna be page path and screen class. Okay, so what you can do is in this search box right here, Typically, 404 error page, their title tag has something like 404 or not found or page unavailable. And so what you can do is you can go on your website, go to a particular URL, and then towards the end of that URL, misspell it, right? So for example, if your website's scottredgate.com and you have, have a blog section and it's scottredgate.com slash blog, you know, misspell it so it would be scottredgate.com slash blogs or something like that so that you can access your 404 error page. Once you do that, look at the top of your screen inside the tab to see what that page title tag is for that 404 error page. And so if you find out that that error page has a title tag of 404 in it, what you can do in this section in Google Analytics 4 is you can simply search for the letters or numbers 404, okay? Or let's say it's not found. You can go in and you can search for that. And that's gonna indicate how many views you got to a page that contains the 404 title tag, which is indicating how many clicks we have to that particular page. Now to be able to find what pages that is linked from, you have to create a custom exploration. We're not gonna do that in today's video, but I am going to link you to a resource in the description below that will tell you how you can create a custom exploration inside of Google Analytics 4 to be able to find the pages just like we did with Screaming Frog, to be able to find the pages that that link is housed on. So at least using the pages and screens report inside of GA4, it's easy to see how big of an issue broken links and broken pages are for you throughout your website. So in this example here, over the past seven days, I've received one view to a page that was not found. And so now to go in and find out what page this is linked to, I can use Screaming Frog, or I can create a custom report exploration inside of GA4 and again I'll provide a link to that resource in the description below.
So in summary, broken links are super important for you to find and correct. You don't want to give your users a bad website experience. It's not just to try to improve your SEO or to please Google. It's to help your users as they navigate your website so they don't have a frustrating experience. It could be the difference between you getting a sale and that user leaving your website for you to never hear from them ever again. Hey, I hope that was helpful for you. If you could do me a favor, could you like this video and subscribe to my channel to give me a little momentum in YouTube's algorithm? Thank you so much. Take care.